And then this is an infant whose mother had this known anomaly and probably also inherited it from her. Hmm. Well, I thought that thing was a big platelet at the it top. It is. Oh, okay. But I don't know what the, in the middle, is it a neutrophil? It's got like little fine granules, but it seems, but the nucleus looks very strange. I don't know what to so make of that. So squint a little bit here. Oh, there is a blue blob there. Yeah, there's a little blue. Like a triangle or something. you call that a Dolly body-like inclusion. <laughs> Dolly body-like inclusion. Because okay. they're ultra-structurally not the same thing. Oh, okay. Dolly bodies are um, rough end endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. Uh, and they're not exactly the same thing, but they look very... But they look alike on the right. smear, okay. So this is an autosomally dominant inherited anomaly that's very heavily board tested. And this is May Heglin. May Heglin. And the, you get the giant platelets, platelets. right? And then yep. those little inclusions. Okay. Yeah. And is, I mean, this technically isn't quite giant Oh, yet, yeah, because it's, it's not, still smaller than a red cell. But, right? I mean, that's, that's it's fairly big, large. It's big, though. Yeah, and so, you know, common things being common in a in a parent that has this known anomaly and a now infant that has this peripheral smear, this is most likely going to be May Heglin. Okay. It's 50% chance he was going, to he get or it. she was going to get 